Hey, it's Ashley. Oh my gosh, I have been on a serious DIY kick. It's been crazy. I have been spending hours doing DIY stuff, which is no surprise because for the longest time, I've loved to do DIYs. I love to craft. I love to make things. Um, with nursing school, though, I haven't had time over the last three years, and I think I'm making all of that up right now. So in this video, I'm going to show you my haul. I went to Hobby Lobby, Walmart, and Dollar Tree, and I bought some things that I'm going to start crafting with. So we are going to start with a few things that I got from Walmart. All right, the first thing that I picked up from Walmart is this Waverly chalk paint. I got it in white, and then I also got it in silver lining. Now Waverly chalk paint, this is my first time using it, but I absolutely love it. I've used it like maybe seven or eight times since I bought it. <laughs> I told you guys I've been DIYing all the things. It's got a really good coverage to it. It's just a really good thick paint, so I'm really loving it. Now normally there are a ton of other colors, but my Walmart was low on stock for them, so I only picked up these two, but I'm definitely going to get some more. Now on to the things that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. So I picked up quite a few different acrylic paints. I was needing some for fall colors. And these two blue ones on the end are my absolute favorite. I love blue. I love the blue color family. It's my second favorite color. I also picked up some white acrylic paint. And then I also picked up some black acrylic paint. Next up, I picked up a few different cardstock pages, scrapbooking pages, whatever you want to call them. They had some cute Christmas ones. I am hoping maybe they'll get some more in stock because I have, like, I really want to pick up a buffalo check one in the black and white and I also want to pick up a red and white buffalo check because I have some ideas for those but for now these are the different ones that I picked up. I picked up a few different Christmas ones for some Christmas DIYs. This super cute pumpkin one. I just thought it was cute. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it yet. I picked up these really cute trees. My son recently started in Cub Scouts so I thought this would be fun to use whenever I memory keep for Cub Scout activities that we do. And then I also picked up these candy canes. And then the last one that you're going to see is some fun little stripes. And this makes me think of wrapping paper. So I may just have to wrap something with it. I'm not sure yet, but I thought it was cute. So I picked it up anyways. All right, next up from Hobby Lobby, I picked up a few different stencils. I really wanted some Halloween ones, but unfortunately they didn't have any. Now this first one that I did pick up though is a stencil kit so you can create your own stencil so i created a fun little pumpkin stencil and if you want to see how that turned out come follow me on instagram because i uh, created it inside of my planner and i showed it there these are some fun little snowflakes which i have some plans for i picked up some fall leaves which i've already used on some coasters that you're going to see here in just a little bit so i've already used those they're really cute and then lastly, I picked up these fun little shapes. I thought these would be cute whenever I do the Cub Scout memory keeping, so that's what I plan on using those for. Next up, I picked up a couple of different sticker packs with letters and numbers. Initially, I was thinking I could use these for like stenciling or painting over top of something. Um, that's really hard to explain with words and not actually showing you guys, but if I do that, I will definitely have to cut these out a little bit closer to the black lines. So I'm not for sure yet exactly what I'm going to do on those. I may just end up decorating with them like inside of my planner or something. I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. By the way, if you guys want to see me create videos on some of these DIYs that I'm doing, please let me know down in the comments and I will be more than happy to do that. I am going to show you the DIYs I've already done at the end of this video. So make sure you're watching. You guys can check those things out. Okay, so um, from Hobby Lobby, I also picked up this, I don't know what this is. It's like a fancy plate. So see how I have two plates here? <laughs> the bottom one is going to be the bottom of a tiered tray that I made. And then this white one is going to be the top of the tiered tray, that I, tiered tray I'm making. And I've actually already made this. And I will show you this at the end of the video. I painted both of these, made a really cute tiered tray. I don't know what this bottom plate is called. Is this like a serving plate? It's like a plate that goes under another plate. I don't understand the purpose of it. Maybe it's just to look cute. I don't know. I just needed a bigger plate and a smaller plate. So I picked both of those up because I couldn't find any at Dollar Tree. So I grabbed those from Hobby Lobby. And then I also picked up this grateful sign, which I've already used on a previous DIY I did a few weeks ago. And then these cute little beaded things. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Uh, anyways, I thought these were just cute little fall decorating pieces to set on that tiered tray that I made. So I picked two of these up. I kind of wish, honestly, I would have picked up more of them because they are super duper cute. And I'm really getting into beads right now. So 
Uh, I might just have to go back and check out for a few more of those. But I also picked up these little metal pumpkins. These are also just some little mini decor pieces that's going to go on that tray for fall after I get my Halloween decor off of it. Uh, I have a white one, there's like this cream colored one, and then there's an orange one. Those are the only three colors that I could find, which is plenty. They had a ton of those, and I honestly may go pick up a few more of those as well. So maybe that'll be my next trip, is getting some more of those beads and those pumpkins. And then I also picked up these fun little jingle bells. Hobby Lobby, when I went up there, they had all of their Christmas stuff 50% off. Uh, so I picked up those because I want to do some DIYs. I picked up this little snow sign, and the letters and the snowflake are separate. They're not stuck together. So that's gonna be fun. That's another little DIY that I have coming up, which I'm really excited for. And yes, I'm starting Christmas DIYs now in October. It's fine, I need time to get everything done. And then the last thing that I picked up from Hobby Lobby are these little glass jars or whatever. I don't know what they're called, but they look like potion bottles to me. And I actually already DIY'd these, so I'll show you guys those here shortly as well. Now, we're on to the things that I picked up from Dollar Tree. Starting off, I picked up two candlesticks. These are what separates those two plates inside of my two-tiered ta two tray. That is really hard to say fast. Um, anyways, as you can see here, I was kind of stacking them up to kind of show you what my plans were. It turned out fantastic, by the way. I'm really excited for it. Again, I'm gonna show you that at the end. I picked up a pack of these little bells. They come five in a pack for a dollar. I'm gonna make some different ornaments with those. And then these are supposed to be stickers, but they just have a little sticker dot on the back of them that comes off super easy. I've already used some of those for Halloween decorations. I picked up some that are Christmas themed and I'm gonna use those for some ornaments. And then I picked up these little vase fillers, which I'm not gonna be filling any vases that I know of, but these are gonna be a part of some ornaments that I'm gonna make. And then I picked up a wreath hanger. I also have an orange one, but I'm already using it. Now you guys, if they don't, if you need like an orange one and they don't have them, just know you can spray paint these to pick up whatever color that you need. And then I also picked up this cake pan, but I didn't end up using it. It was kind of like a backup for my tiered tray. I didn't need it, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with it now. All right, now on to the rest of the items that I picked up from Dollar Tree. Listen, I picked up quite a few things. Don't judge me, I told you I'm on the DIY train here and we gotta have all the things. Some of these things I did pick up on a whim and I wasn't for sure what I was gonna do with them, but most of them I've actually already started using, so that worked out really well. All right, the first thing I'm gonna show you are these cute little trees and they come two in a pack, so you get two for a dollar. And I'm using the smaller one in this first DIY and I actually picked up this craft bottle and I'm gonna show you this at the end. So I spray painted the lid black. I picked up some of this sand. It looks like snow to me. So I like this better than the fake snow that they had. So I picked up this white sand and that went in the jar with the tree. Again, I painted the lid black. I'll show you that in a few, but it turned out super cute. Really cheap and expensive DIY. And I had a tree and some of that fake snow left over so I could do some more. I also picked up this fun little mailbox. I plan on painting it. I personally don't like the design that's on it, but I thought this would be cute to make like a fake letter to Santa or even really have my son write one. Stick it in there, leave the lid open and have it on that tiered tray for Christmas. And then I also picked up some of these little ornaments for a dollar each. This is kind of the vibe I'm going for. This Christmas, I'm gonna change up all the things. Normally I decorate in nautical stuff because it matches my entire house, but this year I'm gonna change it up and I also picked up these. You guys look at this. These are made out of cardboard. Like there's cardboard, there's fra fabric, <laughs> fabric on there, a few little sticks, and it's really easy. We could definitely make those, right? I picked up a few more snowflakes for some ornaments that I'm gonna make. And I also picked up these witch hat picks. I've already taken these apart and I've used them on my tiered tray because I decorated it for Halloween. So I'll show you guys that here soon too. And then I picked up this fun little tin Halloween bucket. Initially I was gonna paint it, but it really brought out pops of orange and purple on my tiered tray for Halloween, so I left it the way it was. It's actually a really cute little tin, so um, I love it, I thought it was really cute. Next up, I picked up two coasters, which I wish I would have got like six of these. I'm definitely going to get some more because I've already painted them, I've stenciled them, and they're super cute. And then I picked up a pack of these crafter squares. It comes two in a pack. 
I had an idea for them, but I'm not so sure that it's going to work out now that I've opened them. I'm not sure yet. I'll see. And then I also picked up two 5x7 frames. I'm going to paint the frames and I'm going to put some little Christmassy things inside of there to set out for Christmas. And then last but not least, I picked up this really cute Mary sign, which I've already DIY'd and I'm going to show you that in just a second. All right, here's the Mary sign. It is actually finishing drying right now. So if you see some shiny parts over here on the antlers, it's the Mod Podge drying. So I took one of those cardstock sheets that I did. I cut it out to go over the antlers. I Mod Podge that on there and then I painted the rest of it white. And I think it turned out really super cute. It was, I mean, literally for like a dollar something, I made this cute little sign and I'm just gonna set this up. Now I will say one little tip. If you do get this and you try to make this, I would sand the edges down. I didn't realize this at first until I got done painting it, but I would sand those down because they're really rough and I think it would make painting it a lot easier. If I get any more of these, I'm definitely going to sand them down first. So that's, that's my little tip for you for that, but I just thought it turned out super cute. And here's the little Christmas tree jar that I made. Like I said earlier, I spray painted the lid black. I stuck the uh, Christmas tree down in there and then I poured some of that white sand which looks like fake snow to me. I thought this was so cute. I honestly may end up making a few more of these. Maybe have one with a red lid, a green lid, maybe make one with a white lid, maybe even deck the tree out, kind of decorate the tree a little bit. I don't know, some different ideas running through my head, but this is really cute and it's really inexpensive. And then, oh my gosh, look at my tiered tray. I am so excited for this. It turned out way cuter than I expected it to be. Y'all, I cannot, I cannot justify spending anywhere from $30 to $70 for a two-tiered tray. I just couldn't do it. So I haven't bought one. I've wanted one for a long time and I just couldn't spend the money on it. And then I seen somebody make one of these on YouTube, which I'm going to link to her YouTube channel down below in the description box. But those are the two candlesticks. The bottom was that big green plate. The top one was the white plate. I painted everything white, I distressed it just a little bit, I glued everything together, and for what, $4, not including the paint, I think it turned out really great. That's way better to me than $30 or $70 for a two-tiered tray. Those are the little uh, witch's hat ornaments, or stickers, they were stickers that I got. Some of them had already come black, and then I painted these ones to match the rest of the um, items I have on here. There's the witch hat sticks, and I just took the stick off of them, and I stuck them out here on the tray. And then I also went ahead and I painted one of these like potion bottles. It's really hard to paint glass. If you do this, I do it with spray paint. But I painted it halfway up with like that green color from the acrylic paints that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And then I also painted one of them halfway up with black. And then I just have my Ray Dunn mug setting out there. So I picked, this is the one that I painted it with black. It took like three coats of each. And then back here, you're gonna see that little tin bucket I was talking about. I filled the bottom half of it with paper and I stuck a couple of pumpkins in there and that really is helping to pop out some orange colors. I was going for like a more neutral with like pops of color and not a ton of different color. So it just brings out a little bit more of that orange and purple from everything. But yes, this is the tiered tray. I think it turned out so stinking cute, you guys. I love it so much. I've already redecorated this thing twice. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to decorate it for Christmas. That was just a little pumpkin I was showing you that I painted black with acrylic paint. But that is my haul, you guys. That is everything that I picked up. If you want to see any of the DIYs that I'm making, please let me know down in the description box. I'll be more than happy to film them. I am not an expert at this, but I love making stuff. I love crafting. I love DIYing, and I'll be more than happy to share that with you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching my video. I hope you have an incredible day, and I will see you in the next one.